At this point, her eyes were protruding from her head completely. So I got home from work and I noticed a little swelling around her eye and this had happened before, so I didn't think too much of it. I gave her Benadryl. Typically in previous instances like this, I had given her Benadryl and it had worked to kind of subside that swelling. The next morning when the Benadryl did absolutely nothing and the swelling around her eyes only got progressively worse, that's when I started to get nervous. So then we went to the vet and she was diagnosed with just an allergic reaction, like I had originally thought. So we went home and did exactly what they said to do, and nothing seemed to work. It only just kept getting worse and worse and worse, as you can see throughout the videos. and it's a rare autoimmune disease that attacks the extraocular muscles behind a dog's eyes, causing them to swell and the dog's eyes to protrude from their head. If you don't catch it too quickly, there are serious ramifications, and that's why it was so important for me to get a speedy diagnosis with this and get her treated right away. After getting the diagnosis for her eye disease, it took about two weeks for the medications to completely get her eyes back to normal. After that, we spent all the summer just going out and doing all the things that she couldn't while she was inside the house. <laughs> and that was really nice, just being able to get her back to her normal self. I definitely saw a more, just her enjoying nature a lot more than she had. The hardest thing with this was it's not like other diseases where you can kind of Google them and have lots of experiences and tons of veterinary research on it and whatnot. It took me a while to kind of Google this and figure out what was going on with her. You know, I was staying up all night trying to figure out what was going on and looking online and falling into deep rabbit holes or whatever. The biggest thing for me is just that getting this out there more because it is a rare eye condition. I know that I just felt completely lost. Providing more information on this and spreading awareness, I feel is very important to help, you know, ease the minds of other pet parents who are going through this.